This tiny little guy is a very useful tool for those of us who have disc wheels. I wanted to make this short video on this because I would have liked to have known a bit more about it before I bought it. And is it worth buying? Let's go into some details real quick. It is of course small, light and very portable. The pump attachment here is knurled. This gives you extra grip on the pump end and needs to attach into a Schrader head. So most pumps are reversible. So you can either choose a depressed or a Schrader, but you're gonna need the Schrader side for this one. With the Schrader side, you quite literally slot it in. I tend to kind of screw it in and that's as far as it goes. And then you've got to lift and lock it in from there. The other end, of course, this is for a Presta valve on this side, and this is the end that you're gonna fit into your tight disc wheel spaces. Its size will fit any disc wheel, so it's perfect for that. And the gasket is tight, so it will give a good seal on even the most worn of valves. Some people might not like that it's a press-on, but it does have a very satisfying firm hold when fully pressed on. I've comfortably taken this to 95 PSI on test runs, and it still holds on just fine. Any higher, I would have been a little worried to cross that barrier, as I fear it may blow off and damage the inside of my disc wheel. Silka reckon this can go way over 200 PSI before blowing off, but anything over 100, 110 PSI, I'd probably hold it on with one finger and pump with the other hand, just in case you haven't put it on properly. When removing, I always have a finger behind the chuck as well, and you then have to yank it off. This way, it protects your carbon disc as your finger will hit the wall rather than the hard aluminium. You can see I made this mistake once and only once here. The construction feels well built as well because it's all aluminium. And bonus, the gasket is serviceable or replaceable, so you can make this last forever if you want to. The top end just screws off. In the UK, you can usually find these for about £35. A lot for a small thing that can easily be lost, so take good care of it. But in the end, worth every penny in my books. I hope this quick review helps. If you want to see how much faster a disc wheel is, then I've done some rigorous real world testing here. If you have any questions, you can ask below or here on Instagram. I've been Jason, this is Cycling Unboxed. I'll see you in the next video.